Today is the day. まちくってびれたぜ。君ちかな俺たちにも夜はいらない。Today is the day. 最高の日だぜ。止め合ってた時きに蹴り入れてやれ。For the one piece, for the new world, for the one piece. 世界は変わる。Yes, you clicked on the right video. This is my reaction to the One Piece manga chapter A53. I'm so excited. These last two weeks, I've been dying for a chapter. Like, I really want Sanji and、uh, the other Straw Hats to reunite and make up and all that happy stuff, but that's all like fantasy. Yeah, so let's just get into the chapter. Oh, and if you're wondering, the hair is fake, but it looks cute and cool, so I thought I tried it on. Tell me what you think. Anyways, let's get into the chapter. I have a bad feeling because the title is called Not Here. No, no, that sounds really bad, but anyways, I see Bartolomeo on the cover crying, probably about the Straw. Has and、uh, it says we made in a Twitter account for manuscript staff. Oh, so follow at HRO underscore staff. We're posting info about the 20th anniversary and behind the scenes tidbits. Okay, and let's see what Frontis Peace requests sea turtles bawling their eyes out as they listen to Bartolomeo and Gambia recount with tears in their eyes antecedents of the straw hats. Ah, bye. Request by you, Mori Tobi Hyogo Prefecture. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the turtles. Oh, it's probably like, oh my gosh, Luffy Senpai, Zoro Senpai, they were so awesome, and Robin Senpai, and then I met the god Usopp. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's get into the chapter. Oh my gosh, I don't want this to disappoint because I really want something great to happen. Yeah. Okay, the treasure room. Mama, ma, a rejoicing voice cries out. Oh shoot! Big Mom has gone broke. He's kind of like, I don't know if he's bleeding, but、eh, he's out, and she's just holding him like a little doll, and she's like, "What an adorable creature! Every last part of him is bone, and yet he's alive. It's a miracle. Your fighting was quite wonderful too, So King.、Uh, it seems the chess soldiers are absolutely terrified of you, Mom, Mom. To think the So King himself, you're their arch enemy.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and it's gonna introduce her hat, the one that's been making all those expressions earlier. And then his the hat's name is called Napoleon the Bicorn.、Uh, she Big Mom's like, but you won't be defeated by these three. They're Zeus the Thunderhead and Prometheus the Sun. They're special. Wait. Oh, Prometheus is the sun. Oh, forget it. But I guess the the sun can change the expressions because I remember Prometheus looks was really scary looking. Anyways, let's go. Oh, they're basically my clones. So she's gonna give us more details about. about I give them my soul directly. Oh shoot! If the, Zeus and Prometheus was there when they fought Nami and them, so like. Oh man, they might be like super duper strong. Okay, and Big Mom's like the levels of their souls are completely different. He 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 he. The soldiers are like, we've completed our investigation, Mama. These there's nothing in his clothes. Oh shoot, Brook is naked, but you know he doesn't have any private parts or anything. <laughs>、uh, nothing in his clothes. There's nothing hiding. There's nothing in the cylinder either. He didn't steal a thing. Ooh. Maybe it's on his body, but how? Like it's just bone. Yeah. Oh, maybe he his um, he's he's not in there. He's just um, what's it called? Where he gets his soul reaper? His soul comes out, and he's just like wandering around. And this is just his lifeless body. Hmm. Yeah. Cause Brook hasn't spoken yet. Right now, he looks like out of it. Yeah. Um. And、uh, what's it? Big Mom's like, ma 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 ma. Then I guess everything's okay, so King. And I get. Or maybe not. Brooke is thinking this is so disgraceful. How embarrassing! How scushy! Sorry for suspecting you.、Uh, Big Mom's like leave alone the tama debako. Even a rubbing of the poneglyph. There's no way I'd let any of that stuff get stolen from under my nose. If something were to make off with those things and find their way to Raftel again, again. Oh shoot. I look like an idiot, right? Haha. <laughs> I won't ever make the same mistake I did back with Roger. Okay, and then she's just touching Brooke's afro, like be careful with that. Okay, and she's like, he used some strange power that involved hearing the voice of all things or something to read the damn thing. Hearing the voice of all things sounds like hockey, but and and she's like, but we've got our own ace in the hole that one day 
that'll one day develop the same power though. Hmm. And she's like, we're going to be the next ones to make it to Raftel. Oh, there's pudding. She's like, mama. And Big Mom's like, oh, my cute pudding. I was just talking about you. And here you are. What's the matter? Did the third eye manage to achieve true opening? Oh my God, enlightenment. What, what happened? What's the third eye opening is she talking about? Oh my God, Brooke's gonna see like, oh, what a like a... Yeah, because before Brooke was like, oh, what a sweet girl. Now he's gonna be like, oh, this disgraceful girl. Anyways, um, Pudding's like puffing her cheeks out. And uh, she's like, oh, come on, mama. That's all you ever talk about. I'm a half-breed, you know. Uh, there isn't even any guarantee that I'll ever awaken such a power anyways. Okay, well, we knew she was some, like, who's her dad, though? Uh, Big Mom's like, ha ha ha, sorry, there's no denying. The fact that you've got the blood of the strange three-eyed tribe running in your veins. And Brooke is thinking, ha, pudding is a three-eye? Uh, mustn't let on that we're acquainted. Oh, she sees Brooke, and she's thinking, that bone man made it all the way out here? Well, he's been captured, should be fine. So, is she gonna... She looks like she's acting fake. She's like, say, Mama, I want to talk to you about something, but it's a bit embarrassing to say here. Can we go to your room? Oh, sure, let's go. Pretending to be all fake again. Still remember, she made Sanji cry. Never forgetting that. Okay, third floor courtyard. Go, get him, Viscount. Okay, oh, okay. So Pedro and Tamago is fighting. And Tamago just like has a beak. He's some kind of rooster chicken. <laughs> You're the rooster. But and here they go. I thought like... Pedro finished him off with that slice, but nope. And here he goes, he slices him in half, and Tamako just looks really ridiculous. His wings are up in the air, and he's got like two knives, and his long legs. <laughs> Phew! Viscount Chick! <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! This isn't Tamago. This is not Tamago. Sorry, sorry, this is not Tamago. I don't know why I thought it was Tamago. Yeah, yeah. Forget everything I just said. I'm so sorry. Pew, pew, some kind of... Wait, but then again... The, I mean, it's an egg and it cracked. I should just keep reading because sometimes I miss details. Or I just like think too far ahead and then I'm like, oh. Okay, so something's on the floor. It's going pew, pew, cluck. Is he hatching an egg? Like, cluck, cluck. Is he like a phoenix? Not a phoenix, but he can like revive through his egg yolk. Cluck, what are these cries? Will it happen? His next evolution? Duke Chicken. How stupid. I'll just finish him off now. Stop that. Hmm. I might be wrong. From bottom egg to Viscount Chick, then to Duke Chicken. Every time it breaks, he's reborn stronger. The Tama Tama no Mi, Duke Chicken, is the true knight. Fear him. If he evolves, you'll be nothing more than dust at his feet. Stop him. I don't feel like waiting around. Stop. Maybe he's related to Tamago and... Yeah, I... I'm not sure. Okay, all right, it ends here, I guess. And <laughs> Pedro, badass, pulls out a whole bunch of dynamite and he's ready to lit these bombs. It's like, whoa, bombs, you bastard, what you playing at? Uh, there are sure a lot of soldiers clustered around here. Back, man, back, run back. And he's like, as a decoy, I couldn't wish for anything more. Stop, my man, Pedro is ready to die for his duty. Man, that's a lot of bravery. Ooh, and it goes up, creates a huge, Mushroom cloud. Well, not mushroom cloud, but a big cloud of boom. And everything around him is jumps backwards, clock, smoke clears. What do we see? Shattered mirror? Or I don't know what's shattered over there. Okay, back to the mirror world. More chopper stuff? Whoa, that was close. You're insane. You scared the crap out of me, Petra. Oh, no wonder there's a mirror there. I, I'm like... Chopper and Carrot got him out of there just in time. And he's like, Oi, Pedro! Ah, uh, I, I was the one surprised to tell you the truth. Who would have ever expected being called from inside the mirror? But you still managed to come up with a plan like this in barely, in barely a few seconds. You're amazing, Pedro, said Carrot. Okay, uh, I can't... I find Chopper's, um, what's it called? The, um... The human form? Human form? I forgot what's the correct term for it, but I don't know, it just looks really weird. I like the previous form, although I'm sure this form is stronger. Yeah, his head looks like really small and then his body is like ginormous. It just looks kind of strange, but anyways, Pedro's like, so I guess we're allowed inside a mirror now. Kind of hard to believe. 
and Chopper's like, people can't enter or leave this world without Brule. We're safe here. We can save Sanji this way too. Tell us what you know. What? Luffy and Nami got captured? Yeah, that's what I heard. So Diesel's still pulling them and she's like, I'm worried about Brooke too. I just hope he managed to get that rubbing of the the rubbing of the opponent glyph. Everyone's in trouble. We gotta hurry. Okay. Mirror mirror on the wall. Tell us where these people are. What sort of art style are this? Oh my god, they look ridiculously handsome. Oh shoot, like I couldn't tell like who was Nami and who's Luffy. Okay, I can see. Okay, Sanji first, Luffy. <laughs> Luffy looks really good. <laughs> like way older and yeah. And then Nami, Brooke. Look at Brooke's drawing. And Pedro. <laughs> I love Karen's drawing. Anyways, they're going down the path in the circle. Like that long haired girl just ran past me. Whoa, the mirror just spoke. What? So Nami escaped? Is Luffy with her? She's with Boss Jinbei. Jinbei? Here's the part I want to see. Sanji, uh, requesting minister class backup. We can't stop Straw Hat Luffy. Where are you? Third floor blonde. It's me, Sanji. Oreda, hear me out. Oi, oi. And someone grabs him and pulls him in. And his arm stretching. Well, is it Reiju or? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, she's going to tell him the plan. She's going to tell him the plan. Okay, Sanji must have told her the plan. So, Or maybe she's just... Sticking with the plan and not telling Luffy. Because the best way to use Luffy is not telling the plan and let him go all ah, out. So the enemy is fooled and then later you tell him and he's like, oh, okay, then it's okay. As long as Sanji's back. Okay, so she throws him in the room. Or he just, she didn't throw him, but you know, his arm stretch. Go back, boom, bang. And then she shuts the door. And the soldier's running out like, how fast is that guy? Where the hell did he go? And Reju's there. Looks good. Uh, don't let him get away. And he's like, you, Sanji's sister. Yes. What was that for? I'm in a hurry here. <sighs> She's like, you're looking for Sanji, aren't you? He was here till, he was here until but a moment ago. And Luffy's like, what? Really? Where'd he go? We've been tricked by Pudding. Sanji's bride, Pudding, she, she said she's going to kill him. And uh, she's like, ah, oh, are you okay? Did you get hurt? And Luffy's like, no, no, no. Luffy asked her that. And she's like, Hulu, thank you. I'm fine. As for Pudding, my little brother knows. And Luffy's like, what? He knew all about this? And she's like, no, he learned about it just now. And she's like, I tried to convince him to just run away from here. But Sanji's hung up on the hostages in East Blue and Yua. He doesn't want you to be harmed. And Luffy's like, those hostages, they're the people in the Barati, right? I know them too. If they're really in danger, I'll even go to the East Blue. Even if I have to, I'll save them. And he starts growling, the food basket, the food basket. He's growling, would you like something to eat? And he's like, no. And then she's remembering, I'll only eat the food that you'll make. <laughs> and then she's like, but I see. So Sanji knows about pudding, huh? <gasps> no! So, and Luffy has this really happy smile. And he's like, I'm glad he wasn't tricked. Everything besides that's already done. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna stop, but he's not stopping. Yes. And uh, Luffy keeps running. He's like, okay, thanks, Sanji's sister. He's like, what? Where are you going? That's our promised place is not here. No, the food basket! No! <laughs> he jumps out the window. <laughs> and she's like shocked. She probably never met someone so like ambitious. Well, I'm sure she does. But like for the good reason, to chase the dream, this dream still raining and dark and flashback to Zeph he's like do you not care if this man loses his head Sanji's still thinking about it and there's his father you're to sacrifice Sanji he's still thinking about it at the hallway like what to do big mom's there as long as you don't run away everything will turn out just PG Sanji but she's lying okay so look at the look on Sanji's face it's just <sighs> like tormented just it's just gonna drive people to go like crazy yeah and it's like at tomorrow's wedding ceremony the vin smoke family will be slaughtered go home you look like pirates there's no going back now luffy no sanji no ah. okay something just fell from the sky my house a person a person oh 
He's sorry for yelling. He's. I'm gonna wait for him at that place. Hungry but hoping. Damn. And his stomach is just growling really loudly. Gugi, gugi o kuro. I don't know. Oh damn. <coughs> I just read a funny comment here. So the father of pudding is tension huh? <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. So we know, looking back, short reveal, pudding, it has to open her third eye. There's not the awakening of that. And yeah, I don't, I don't think what they ever really talked about the three-eyed tribe, but there's that and Brooke is captured and Big Mom is just petting him like a little doll that's really creepy and yeah Pudding hasn't revealed her true nature to Brooke so he still thinks he's good well I'm not sure if he thinks that but that's not his problem he needs to get the Poneglyph things and I'm not sure if Viscount Chick and Baron Tamago are the same I don't think they are it's just another one with the devil fruit powers even though he looks like the baron tamago and uh do chicken is still <laughs> yeah so pedro managed to pull out those dynamites explode everyone away and escape through the mirror world with brooke and i mean sorry with the chopper and carrot and yeah i love carrots drawing <laughs> and they're racing away again to look for nami and they know jinbei's with her anyway saji I mean, not Sanji. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Anyways, Luffy meets up with Reiju and she tells him, like, I already told him the stuff, but he's not listening, dude. And, but, he's gonna keep going and meet up with Sanji at that place. I love Luffy's determination. I thought he was gonna keep looking for Sanji. I mean, he is, but he's gonna meet Sanji at that place. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm so happy. But at the same time, I want more. I, I thought it'd be going happy, but it's not gonna go like the happy or happier spot anytime soon. Ah, I need more. <laughs> I waited two weeks and this doesn't satisfy like my craving. <laughs> no. Ah, and Luffy still hasn't gotten his tooth back. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, I guess that's it guys. I really really want more. I'm dying here. All right guys I guess I'll see you guys next time and uh, peace out <laughs>